We begin tonight in Sabine Pass with the latest on this scary scene that we watched play out live this afternoon on 12 News. Crews from the U.S. Coast Guard rushed to rescue nine workers who were trapped on top of a burning oil rig. They used this chopper to pull each of them to safety. Good evening, Southeast Texas. Every one of those workers should be okay. That's the amazing part of this story, especially when you realize that there were at least two explosions while they were still on that rig. Can't be too much to burn on that old thing. Yeah, maybe not, another blowout. We had to depressurize. God bless the seven men on there. Okay. Time to get out of here. Time to get out of here. That video from a 12 News viewer who was recording when a second explosion rocked the rig. We can tell you all those rescued workers, again, they are okay. This image, uh, Christiana Ramos captured, showing their relief after the rescue. And Christiana is with us live tonight. Christiana, still so many unanswered questions. Jordan, terrifying is the word that many use to describe the explosion and fire that took place atop of a rig today. One worker telling me he was rescued from the fire. He told me that he's just grateful to be alive. Okay. Time to get out of here. At 12.35 this afternoon, Port Arthur 911 received a call in reference to a rig on fire. It was another day at work at a Sabine Pass shipyard until flames erupted on top of an old oil rig, trapping nine workers. The, the quick response and then Coast Guard being able to come over and do the aerial rescues, that made all of the difference in the world. We watched as the U.S. Coast Guard helicopter rescued worker after worker and rushed them to safety off the rig so that paramedics could check them out. Crews at the scene told the rig was in the process of being scrapped. All nine of the workers got back home to their families unharmed. One worker off camera telling us he is grateful to God to be alive. At this time, the fire is still going, although it's not as hot as it was earlier. It's still unclear what sparked the massive flames and explosions. Firefighters waiting for the fire to burn itself out. So the next process is that they're going to have to get up there and make sure that the fire is out and that's going to have to be done by lowering this platform. The on-site manager telling officials there's no flammable liquids to ignite the fire again. But until Port Arthur Fire Department can confirm that, they will be monitoring it. The Port City Partners Marine Yard, where the fire occurred, leases the property to PH Steel. 12 News has reached out to PH Steel and have not heard back yet. Christiana Ramos, 12 News. All right, Christiana, stay with 12 News on air and online as we follow the investigation. And when you wake up, Daybreak will update you starting at 430 tomorrow.